show you how to make a glassy effect and shadow effect with Adobe Fireworks CS5. The glassy effect is going to look like this right here, this area, and the shadow effect is going to look like this. For both effects I'm going to use these two um, objects, cop car and a police officer. So for um, the pictures I just went on Google Google Images and typed uh, cop car PNG and these were the results I just picked one and for the officer I just typed um, I believe I typed police PNG I typed police officer you can pretty much pick anything and uh, this guy was an example for this picture so let's get going fireworks for example I'm going to delete these I'm going to go back to Google images Let's copy this guy right here. This looks good. Right click, copy image, go back to fireworks and just paste it. And this picture size is pretty big so I'm just going to uh, scale it down. It should look good. And hit enter. right-click it, copy, right-click again and paste. You'll see there are going to be two images. So lay, lay them down like that, click the image, right-click, transform, flip vertical. And you'll see you just flip it vertically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace it just like this as you can see and click the image you just flipped go to commands go to creative go to auto vector mask and select the the left bottom one right here apply it and as you can see it's already is giving that uh, glassy effect so just you can play around with it for tutorial purpose I'm just going to replace this guy right here and just replace a second image under the, the actual image and let me make the background invisible. I'm going to make the cam canvas um, background white. So as you can see there is already this glassy effect right here. Um, let's just play around with it a little bit more. Yeah this looks good. Let's make the background visible again. Copy both of them. You can uh, copy both of them uh, by holding the shift and clicking both images just like this. And it's going to allow you to select them both. So I want to, uh, this officer to stay right here. As you can see, turn this down. And as you can see, the light is coming from uh, here to here, which I would say about like seven degrees, seventy degrees. So what you can do with the glassy effect, the effect that we applied here, you go to scale tool, hold it down, 
and go to distort tool it's gonna allow you to play around with the like 3d stuff so what I'm going to do I'm going to make this guy around like it's gonna look like light is coming up from here and hitting right there let me take both of them again and just go like that and this tool again let's see yes let me make the background invisible as you can see the light looks like light is coming up from like 70 degrees from where the, this object officer stands let's make it all visible as you can see this is the glass effect and the shadowing is the same the only thing you have to do is uh, click the the glass effect the object you, you just applied and go to filters adjust color color fill and just choose black and from here you can just play around with the opacity which you know how much shadowing you want to you want the full shadow or you want 50% I usually go around like this as you can see let's play around with the uh, Out of vector mask. Let's see, this looks good. All right, and click both of them. Uh, select both of them with uh, holding the shift key. And for Mac, it's command G for Windows. I don't know, but you can just right click and group it for grouping. And let's make the background visible again. Just like this, replace it right here. As you can see, there is our shadowing effect. Let's make it a tiny bit more visible. 50% would work. Again, for uh, if you want to make this glassy, just cancel the color fill, and it's going to look glassy. And let's preview this by clicking the file preview in the browser. I'll use Google Chrome, so period in Google Chrome. <laughs> As you can see, our glassy effect is right here. Let's go back to our fireworks. Click this guy right here. And I'm going to enable the color fill, which is going to, avail is going to um, enable the shadowing effect that we just applied it to. Alright, you guys, shoot me an email or YouTube message if you guys have any questions. Um, that's all. Have a nice day.